HI4101 ammonia ISC is a gas sensing electrode. This ISC relies on ammonia gas diffusion through a selective PTFE membrane, which changes the pH of a thin layer of electrolyte between the membrane and an internal pH sensor, comprised of pH sensing glass and a silver, silver chloride reference. The change in pH of the electrolyte correlates to the ammonia concentration in the sample. Therefore, it is important to ensure that the internal pH sensor is working properly to take an accurate measurement. A slope check should be performed when you first receive your HI4101 electrode or if you are using your electrode after a period of storage. Before you begin, you will need to have an HI4000-47-4 pH 4 and HI4000-47-7 pH 7 buffer packet with chloride ion background. These buffers are designed specifically for performing the slope check of the ammonia ISC. Conventional pH buffers cannot be used. To perform the slope check, prepare the buffers by mixing and dissolving each buffer packet in separate beakers with 50 milliliters deionized water. It is important to note that if the sensor has been shipped or stored dry, then the electrode will require conditioning prior to performing the slope check. To condition the electrode, soak it in one of the buffer solutions for at least one hour. The sensor should be submerged to the large black band on the internal sensor when checking or conditioning the electrode. Once the electrode is conditioned, we can proceed with the slope check. First, connect the electrode to a meter that can display a millivolt reading. In this demonstration, we will be using an HI3222 meter. First, we power on the meter, then press range to access the millivolt mode. Then, carefully submerge the electrode into the pH4 buffer. Once the millivolt reading has stabilized, record this value. Rinse the electrode in deionized water before submerging the electrode in pH7 buffer. Once again, wait for the reading to stabilize and record the millivolt value. To determine if your electrode has an acceptable slope, simply take the difference between the two buffer readings. We obtained a reading of 45 millivolts in pH 4 and negative 133.6 millivolts in pH 7, giving us a difference of 178.6 millivolts. Be mindful of negative numbers when performing this calculation. An acceptable value is greater than or equal to plus or minus 160 millivolts. Since our value is 178.6 millivolts, we know that our sensor is working properly and provide an accurate measurement. As long as the slope value is acceptable, the ammonia ISC can be reassembled and is ready for calibration and measurement. If you have an unacceptable slope, try reconditioning your electrode. We hope that you have found this video both helpful and informative. If you have other questions, be sure to visit www.hannainst.com. Thank you.